I'm at Airbnb unit number four. We're just keeping flip projects that we'd normally put on the MLS and sell. I picked this one up actually on the MLS and we were able to get such a good deal on it because we gave away the buy side of the commission, which normally we would have collected as profit. But that small commission got us a $17,000 discount on this property on market in a super hot uh, area of Boise. This is in the bench. This is a 3-2 um, with an ADU. So that's actually Airbnb unit number five for us out back. Let me take you and show you where that's at. Um, so we've done a, a few things to separate out the properties. One, the entrances are very separate. Uh, two, we fenced off the backyard here. And so it's split. And so now this unit has its own private little yard. And then we took part of the garage and converted uh, part of the garage into a bedroom. Hey, Maple, come inside. Come on. Oh, if you're already flipping, I highly encourage that you look for ways to uh, to stack your income, um, especially at one property like this one, two sources of income, Meridian Road, three sources of income. This is actually my favorite room in the house. I wanted to show you guys this. It's a it's the master with like a cool vaulted ceiling. Um, and then we expanded out the bath and made it a little bigger. But hey, I am actually in the ADU right now. Um, this is on the backside of the property that I was just uh, showing you uh, earlier in this video. Um, we've got the little bathroom. This one uh, still needs to be cleaned. And then uh, we're gonna move furniture in the next couple of days here, but um, full kitchen. It's got this little door that goes out to its private fence backyard. This bedroom came off of the garage. This was an extra deep garage. So we figured that's not of any value at a short-term rental. Might as well add a bedroom. That single bedroom actually changed the back end value of what this thing can bring in by like $400 a month. So as a little studio with no bedroom, it would have brought in significantly less. This whole addition, I'd say, cost probably less than three grand. We picked this whole project up for about $308,000, um, put about $60,000 of rehab into it uh, with financing costs and everything else. Uh, we're probably going to be just under four for um, the total uh, like project cost. Um, furniture and everything like that, uh, it's probably going to be about ten k for the three-bedroom, two-bathroom house, and then probably another like four k or less for the studio by the time all is said and done. So we should be in this thing for less than 410 by the time we're done. Um, the short term rental side of things, the, the larger three bedroom, two bathroom house should do uh, just under $4,000 a month conservatively. Um, and that's, uh, that's balanced out or averaged across the entire year because there are slow months and there are busy months. The ADU, which I'm standing in right now, should probably do just about $2,000 a month. So significantly less because it's smaller, but also be cheaper. So I think that it'll be booked more. So again, these are just projections. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how this turns out. But quick comparison here for you. Um, if that house does four and this ADU does two, we're making $6,000 a month. That's gross, not net. So that's before expenses, right? Um, but this property would never rent for close to $6,000 a month with long-term renters. The front house, we'd be lucky to get probably like $2,000 a month. And this little ADU, we'd be lucky to get 1,500. So 3,500 versus 6,000 is a very big difference. That's why in this market, the uh, long-term rentals do not actually work for me specifically for what we do, which is flip single family homes, but it may work for somebody else, but the short-term rentals work, uh, they're far superior as far as uh, being able to capture income. They're also higher risk, which I'm willing to take um, because we only do a limited number of these. We still make money by flipping houses. So. Anyways, guys, uh, happy to chat strategy with you on short-term rentals. I can't say I'm an expert, but I can say I'm diving in full speed ahead. Stay tuned to watch these properties transform over the next couple weeks. I'll be posting updates and showing you guys what they look like with furniture in them. Um, I'm even going to do a uh, giveaway here in the next uh, month or so. We'll be giving away a free night stay uh, in one of the units, most likely the Airstream because it's the most unique. But stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.